Describe your childhood to me, Mr. T-Robot. I didn't have a childhood. Hmm, I see. Uh, how would you describe your relationship with your mother? I didn't have a mother. Ah, interesting. Have you seen Cliffhanger? No. Hmm, tell me more about that. I didn't see Cliffhanger. Well, this seems painful to you. No. Hmm. Now tell me, Crow T, what kind of fishing lure do you think is appropriate for early spring? Definitely a rebel de... Uh, nothing leaves this office, right? <laughs> Mr. Robot, everything said here today is strictly confidential. Uh, definitely a rebel deep diving lure for early spring. Yes, yes. Ah, well, I see our time is up, Crow. Uh, we'll be right back. What? I'm prescribing a series of commercials. Oh. Gee, I, I feel kind of embarrassed about the things I told you in our session. Don't worry, Crow. As I said before, whatever you tell me in the privacy of my office is in the strictest of confidence. Hi, guys. <laughs> Say, Mike, you won't believe some of the weird stuff this nut cup is into here. Hey. Do you know that he uses a rebel deep diving no, lure no, in early I don't. spring? I, I lied about that. <laughs> it was quite, no, shh, shh. Hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, you'll have to excuse me. Things have been a little hectic down here this week. Uh, you see, uh, my mother's coming to visit, and, uh, well, we've redecorated in her honor. She's the one person in my life who's responsible for my deep psychological scar, and naturally, I wanted the place to look nice for her. Oh, I'm going to send you along some material that I want you to say to her when she gets here. You do a good job, and I'll show you my appreciation by not killing you. <laughs> Frank! Oh. Relax, Clay. Everything's under control. Look, I made your mother this nice fruit bowl. No oranges, though. Your no. mother can't have oranges. The citric acid gives her gas. No, that's a very good point, Frank. Be How do you know so much about my mother? Well, I've been corresponding with her regularly for quite some time now. I thought you knew that. No, I... Oh, that's her. Oh. Come in. <laughs> Mother! It's so wonderful to see you! Yeah. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Oh. You look fabulous! Oh, thank you for the lovely card. Oh. That was so thoughtful of you. We have so much to talk about. Before we talk about anything else, though, there is one thing I have got to tell you about. And wait, that... wait. Let me guess. Meg Anderson's party? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you're not going to believe it, but I wore the blue dress. You didn't! I most certainly did. And you should have uh, seen mother, it when I... What? Uh, some friends of mine have put together a little presentation in your honor. <laughs> I told them not to, but they, uh, they're a bunch of knuckleheads. Well, you know, let's uh, watch, huh? <laughs> Hi, Clayton. Oh, I see that your mother is here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's great to finally meet the mother of such a good friend of mine. Many is the time you and I have engaged in spirited hijinks. I enjoy your company very, very much. Oh, <clears throat> I hope your visit from your mother doesn't interfere with your brilliant science experiments when the history of the 20th century is ultimately written the name of one man. Will tower above all others, that man is you. D Dr. Clayton Forrester. There. Dr. Clayton Forrester, you have made the world a better place. But oh, by staying underground, I can't believe this. Who wrote this junk? This is so stupid. Dr. Forrester, perhaps no other individual embodies the style, panache, and verve of the elegant sport of polo more than you. You're. Oh, I can't do this. Honey. Mrs. Forrester, your son is sick. Wow. He's sick. <laughs> Jesus. You need serious help. If there's anything you can do to help him, you should really help. Oh, well, I guess there's really not much left to say other than uh, your movie this week is called Bloodlust. It's immediately preceded by a short 
called a visit to Uncle Jim's farm. Well, I never visited my uncle. After all, the boy's best friend is his mother. Now I understand why he's so sick. Boy, I'm tempted to call her something that rhymes with bitch. Oh, wait, wow. she's she's bitch. I know what you she's mean. Oh, 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 we got no. movie time. No, you hey, can't say can it. Can we say it now? No, you can't say it. I'm Dairy Council Intolerant. Is Velveeta a member of the National Dairy Council? No, Velveeta's a splinter group. I thought I smelled something. Uh, yes, the farm of secrets and lies. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Loretta Doyle. I was warned as a child. This is a story about the summer George and Betty spent on Uncle Jim's dairy farm. A cautionary tale. George and Betty are both excited because this is a very special trip. They're dropping off the kids and never coming back. But they're not a bit more excited than Andy and Jane, who live on the farm. <laughs> Poor saps. Jane, I think they're here. I see their car. Are you sure? Don't ever question sure, me. I'm sure. I'll run to Mom. Mom, <laughs> Here in frame 54, Mr. Connolly is struck by the no bullet. No wonder they're all so excited. After Uncle Fred and Aunt Alice go back to the city, George and Betty are going to stay to spend a whole summer on the farm with Jane and Andy. Where's Uncle Jim? Dad's out in the field. Come on, and they'll let you ring the bell to call him. Okay. Let's go tip some cattle. Go ahead, Betty. You ring it. Ah, yes. The bell signals a nuclear attack in these parts. Well, now they have nothing to look forward to. I never want this day to end. Well, what do you know? Someone fell in the thresher again. Already the children have disturbed Uncle Jim. Uncle Jim is an edgy man who should not be riled. Gods, Betty? The grown-ups <laughs> have things to talk about, but Andy and Jane have their plans all set. The first thing to do is to show their city cousins some new things around the farm. Their throats tighten with apprehension. And because it is a dairy farm, the first oh, thing they show up oh, is a the milking anything. parlor, where their older brother, Bill, has started the milking. How are you? We're fine. Mine is clean in here. That's right, Betty. All dairy farms want to keep their barns clean, and their cows, too. <laughs> is that why you're washing the cow? Every morning and evening, George, just before they're milked. This is one way we help to make sure the milk is always pure and wholesome and good tasting, too. Go on, taster. See those pipes up there? The milk runs from the cow through those pipes Ooh. to the big cooler in the milk room. Yes, it keeps cold and fresh. Uh, excuse me, back here. I, I need some help back here. I got That's something right. caught in the... I... Uncle Jim, how do cows make milk? Oh, they make it out of what they eat. Yes, but what do they eat? Well, come on, I'll show you. The kids feign interest so as not to rile Uncle Jim. See, we dump this stuff in the creek and the government pays us for it. I just saw a finger. <laughs> Can we go home? <laughs> well, now this is what the cows eat at milking time. Pure, uncut. First one's free, kid. <laughs> Why, that looks like some of our breakfast syrup. Uh, well, that's pretty much what it is, Betty. As a matter of fact, cows are a lot like people. They're sinners. Now, this feed is a special mixture of ground grain with the extra vitamins and minerals that cows must eat to stay healthy. Oh. Of course, they eat grass mm. and hay and mm. silage, too. They need all different kinds mm. of good food, plenty of good, clean water, and a clean, comfortable place to live. That way, they grow to be strong and healthy. When we well, slaughter them. There and help your brother Bill with the milking. You know, Andy, I think that maybe Betty and George would like to see the hayloft. What do you think? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, not really. Is there anything on TV? Now Junior Samples and Lulu Bill make their appearance. <laughs> oh, my spine! <laughs> I, I don't think because my doctor, I'm frail and I have allergy, but if you really want me to... <laughs> oh, I found the pitchfork! I'm... A... <laughs> All the commotion provokes a bull snake nesting in the hay. I gotta be careful of my new jeans because I got them at Pomida. 
tonight on ESPN2, Hayloft Rope Swinging. You'd better watch, because it might happen. This is when you get that tingly feeling. Right? Mm-hmm. It's easier when a stagehand helps. <laughs> the summer of my German humiliation. But I, I want to write poetry and act and, uh... Oh. <laughs> I can't do it. That's okay, George. You can't do it now, but the bigger and stronger you get, and the more you practice, the more things you can do. You'll be able to do it by the end of the summer. Now give me 30, soldier! George and Betty soon discovered that on a farm, everybody has work to do. Why, Miss Guernsey does the typing. Right now, this new calf doesn't need any help. It's just two days old but it knows where its dinner is. Hey, 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 no but later snacking. On, it will be Andy's job to teach the calf to drink its milk from a pail and to eat other feed. Hey, this is Skim. Uncle Jim and Bill make sure the grown-up cows are properly fed, that they get grain and grass and silage, all the good food and clean water they need to make good, fresh milk. Well, you'll pay one day, hey, Seed. You'll get what's coming, farmer. There was plenty for everybody to do. Betty helped Jane take care of the baby lamb. And prepare a mint sauce. And they all learned about pigs, too. More than you'd ever want to know. Don't ever do this! A very special Ziffel family reunion. So, so this is enough to get you up in the morning, huh? Okay. So, cities, nightclubs don't mean anything to you, George and Andy help Bill feed the pigs every day. Day after a life-sucking day. While Betty and Jane helped with the baby. Drink it, just drink it. (laughs) These would make nice purses. Ah, the lunch counter at Tom and Rosie's Diner. Good table manners, but they enjoy their dinner. A mixture of milk and ground grain. Later, they will eat corn and other kinds of feed. Oh yeah, and then later they'll bring around the dessert tray. Baby chicks too are hey, they're women. A special oh. mixture of ground up grain, milk, and other feed. This is Betty's and Jane's favorite chore. The baby chicks are so soft and cuddly. And squishable. On the farm, a big dog has plenty of room to run and play. But he is more than a pet. He also protects the family. From rival farm gangs. But all the puppies have to do is eat oh, and play puppy. and sleep. Oh, and grow puppy. up strong oh, and healthy. On foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say... <laughs> James' kitten loves to drink his milk. But he wishes he had a straw. And Jane and Betty enjoy playing with the kittens. They enjoy neutering them also. <gasps> when the dinner bell rings, no one has to call the girls twice. Yeah. They run to the house and wash up quickly so they won't be late. They have obsessive compulsive behavior. Living on a farm makes you hungry. And Aunt Helen is certainly a good cook. Given her limitations. Jerry Lee Lewis joins the family for dinner. Let's do this. Ah, yes, now's the time for Uncle Jim's fundamentalist dogma. <laughs> but I don't like food. Look at all the wonderful things to eat. At restaurants. <laughs> It takes all kinds of good food to build up muscles and let us grow bigger and stronger. Mostly just butter. Susie drains the last of her dirty banana. That's why I'm burning my bra. (laughs) Repressed emotions help the evening pass without incident. Man, your dad goes on. The children are ready for bed after a busy day on the farm. Day one is over at long last. She's dreaming of Midtown Manhattan. (laughs) Three hours later, it's up again. Back home, a Hershey's truck is overturned and everyone is getting all the free chocolate they want. (laughs) Uncle Jim's out of control. We frag him today. This is the way the summer went. Play, work, and rest. The children helped with the chores. Let my people go! While Bill helped in the cornfield. Despair was the bumper crop. Andy and George kept the vegetable (laughs) garden clear of weeds. I remember ringing a bell. (laughs) Jane and Betty brought in fresh eggs each day. Given by disgruntled chickens. And helped Aunt Helen with the housework. 
I was rhubarb queen of the five-state area in 48, so many gentlemen callers I had in my day. It was fun, too, especially riding the horses. Why, it's a wonder cities even exist. Whenever they were hungry in the middle of the afternoon, Too bad. there were snacks under the shady trees in the big yard. They had to graze just like the animals. Mmm, pig's knuckles. Uncle Jim's sick again. Mmm, good white hearty white bread for white, white people. Sis takes to the comfort of cream items. And twice a week, letters from home in the big mailbox beside the highway. Thank you for your request to come pick you up. We are sorry to inform you that we cannot. As the summer passed, everything seemed to grow. The corn was knee high on George when he came. Now it's taller than he is. George is clearly shrinking. Andy's calf is bigger and eating like a grown cow. With a knife and fork like a real gentleman. The lambs are almost grown. And look how big the pigs are now. Equal rights for pigs. The little chicks have become grown chicks. They want to wear makeup and nylon. George and Betty have grown bigger and stronger, too. George can even shinny up that rope now. The stage hand helps him, too. Yes, they've had a wonderful time. They've learned how animals grow through good, nourishing food. I think it's dead. They've learned how work and play and fun go together on the farm. Elsie and I are in love and you can't stop us. They've had good, nourishing food to grow on. And plenty of sleep. Why, Uncle Jim's even enrolled them in the posse comitatus. Uh, corn coming after me. Stalks attacking me. Uh, uh. The summer is over. And George and Betty are waiting for their parents to take them back to the city. Freedom! Freedom! Ebner, just throw them their winter clothes and then floor it. Hey, they're driving right by. Wait, wait! <laughs> It's time for goodbye now, but the children will have a lot to tell their friends at home. Heck, I was pretty hard on them, Clark, but I think you'll understand when you see how well behaved they are. It'll be a long time before either George and Betty... Learn to forgive. ...or Andy and Jane forget that summer of fun on Uncle Jim's dairy farm. You weren't there when we had our summer of fun. We went to Condu in Orlando. Goodbye! We'll send you that arm if we find it! So long, you corn shucking suckers! My jam handy! <laughs> Ooh, the story of Wisconsin sausage! <laughs> you get your hand out of that cookie jar, young man! Oh, he's so lucky, he has those high cheekbones. That's the Edvard Munch painting that wasn't stolen. That looks like Ivan Lendl. Mm. No, sorry. Can't work up any interest in that group of people. No. All right. This isn't a very good animation sequence. Yeah, this is exactly how Leaky found Lucy. She was Leaky. The best Saul Bass credit sequence ever. You know, can't say these people interest me either. Nope, not a lick. Well, how about. Uh, nah. No, not a whit. What the? No. Come on, make with the fright already. Yeah, bring on the scare, man. <laughs> the big Kahuna. 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 Oh, yes, it's Ralph. It's my picture. We do it my way, Brooke. All right, Brooke, Mr. Autour, let's see what you got. Bring back the skeleton skull guy. Uh, they are so out in the middle of the sea. Fellas, it's too rough to hey, feed you. Hey, Tony, watch it, will you? You want to get back to port nice and dry? Yeah, you trying to drown us or something? Yeah. Don't worry. Just don't worry. The Exxon Valdez. It's safe and sound. You can navigate this stuff with one hand. Uh-oh, Johnny, I think he's at it again. Yes, it's the booze barge. Hey, say, Brad D, you're a fine girl. Well, I'll stay right there. I want to know where you are at all times. If he does that once more, I think I'm going to get sick. I think all this action has made the fish sick. I can't seem to make any contact with him at all. Well, shut up, for Hey, Betty, let her go. Mm. She's tossing her panties. Mm, that's the last hey, pair, honey. Not bad. Not bad at all. Here, you want to try it? Sure. Only there's one hitch. 
spot. No more bottles. And the captain can rectify that. I am. Um, guess we'll have to play a different game. Shoots and letters. What can we do out here? <laughs> well, uh, this is always fun. Looking at your roots. Oh, oh, oh honey, I think you really heard something this time. Of all the girls in the world, I had to get mixed up with the daughter of a judo expert. Foreshadowing. Oh, Daddy told me lots of men like to wrestle. <laughs> well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. I want you to smash my face into the side of the ship. <laughs> I'm glad I bought my bolero jacket. How come you don't judo hey, me? Come here. Come here. What is it? Water. Lots what of it. it? an island way over there that I, I don't remember seeing before. Uh, yeah, large land masses are easy to miss. Well, this is the brightest day we've had in our vacation. Must have been hidden in the mist out there before. Oh, a mysterious hidden island. Let's go ashore. Let's go, sir. What for? Yeah. Well, maybe we can find some hidden pirate treasure. In the gift shop. would be fun. Well, what do you say, Johnny? Oh, why not? It's both costing us enough. We might as well see everything we can. Hey, Tony. Put in here. You want to go ashore? <laughs> Can do. <laughs> Robert Maxwell, The Untold Story. I'll just run up to the Lido deck and see what Isaac is doing. Well, he's dead. Why didn't he just say so? <laughs> Boy, he's really tied one on this time. Looks like he's going to be out for quite a while. What are we yeah. going to do? Well, I know I can get this boat in close enough to the island to get the anchor down. But I'm not sure I can get us back to the main island. So... I guess our little treasure hunt's the best thing to do until our navigator sobers up. I'll just keep making wry comments. Girls get the dinghy ready. I'll take us in closer to the shore. Okay. Yeah, what's a dinghy? Uh, thank you. Please, sure to fill out your comment cards. Oh. Sure hope you know how to fly this thing. Okay, we detonated about a hundred yards out. Oh, man, I went home with this boat last night. Oh, oh try to visit the poop deck, if you know what I mean. Jeez. Wait, you forgot Tallulah Bankhead! Um, should we have brought oars or not? I could quit any time! Come back! Come back, you fools! Don't run there! Come back! A cruise of wine and roses. All right, well, back to work. <laughs> well, no, they forgot the piano. Tonight, love and the landing at Normandy. Hey, I wonder if anyone lives here. Oh, no chance. If there'd have been any natives on this island, they'd have spotted the boat before now. They're down here trying to sell us hand-painted coconuts. What do we do now? <laughs> well, my intuition tells me the Captain Kidd buried his loot over there. In her bra? Hey, let's race up there. Last one doesn't get any of the jewels, huh? <laughs> hey, counter worker from Long John Silver's. Her fish. Shoot, I wanted to sell them painted coconuts. Say what I tell you, this looks just like the remains of Captain Morgan's flagship. Oh, but back there you said it was Captain Kidd. I did? So you're saying I'm not good in bed? One pirate's gold is as good as another. Backpedaling. I think I found something. Oh, and my hand. Sorry. Something. Oh, what is it? Uh, armor? Pirate's armor? Well... Let's just say it's something the tide washed in. Remember, I know more than you do. I think you're just a little too young to know about it. Yeah, women know nothing about underwear. Hey, gang, come here. I'm Robert Reed. Oh. <laughs> Found some turtle legs. Let's smash them. It's a head, I think. Did you find something, Johnny? You bet I did. Look. Linguini. Oh, what is it? It's some of the best eating in these waters. A lot of clams around here, too. I'm hungry. Hey, let's have a clam bake. All right. Well, let's have a tropical style. Huh? Well, how do you mean? Well, look, Pete and I'll go into the jungle and get some banana leaves. Back. We'll wrap the clams in them and sun. bake them in a hole in the sand. Hey, you girls stay here and dig for something. Oh, that's fine. Japanese All sun. except the last part. Huh? Where you go, we go. Right? Right. We'll all go for the leaves and then we'll all dig. Okay, okay. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Unfortunately, they landed on Bikini Atoll in 1947. The lure of the clam bake proved to be their undoing. Great plan. Well, can we get us go to Red Lobster? Even the jungle without banana trees. Uh, a forest? Hey, wait a minute. If you lived here, you'd be home now. What? It's not too old either. I can still smell the tobacco. That means that somebody does live here. 
Not necessarily. Maybe somebody just went exploring a couple of days ago and then sailed away. I don't know why, but I'm scared. Let's go back to the boat. Oh, there's nothing to be scared of. Oh, no. It'll only take a few minutes, then we'll be back at the beach. Come on. Come on. It's a few minutes when we're not back at the beach. On his resume, Robert Reed listed this as the Tempest. Ooh, Ooh she's a Breck girl. Sounds like James Galway's bringing up the rear. How long do we bake the clams? Uh, just oh, bury him. Out of there. He looks hurt. All right, I'll, I'll get some vines we can use them to pull him out. Or hang myself. Trap. deliberately dug here. But who could have done it? Oh, I don't know. But I do know that as soon as we get him up out of that hole, we're getting out of here. Wait a minute, please. I'll climb down. We'll need you here to pull him up. Okay, yeah, we'll need your here. massive bulk okay. up here. <laughs> A little peek into their home life. You should just clam bake him. Yeah. Okay, start pulling. Speaking of pulling. I'm here to tell you about Mutual of Omaha. Ooh. <laughs> Help them, quickly. Wow. Well, seems like a good idea, and uh, hey, good luck with your vegetable stand. Uh, I'm going to go off and be uh, Kenny G, so I'll see you later. Ah, well, mighty neighborly of you, Mike. Take her easy. <laughs> uh, well, not much traffic here today, eh? Wonder if this was the best location for my produce stand. Yeah. Suppose not a lot of people have cars here on the satellite of love. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hey, sounds like I got me a potential customer coming down the road. Yeah. Of course, the only guy I know who has a car around these parts. Is... Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Jeez, next time buy something! <laughs> Uh, uh. Yes, I came here shortly after the war. Oh, you, okay, honey? Guys, be careful. careful. The world completely free from any kind of outside pressure. Yeah, hmm. well, what do you do here? Yeah, how do you get any kicks in a place like this? Kicks? Uh, kicks just keep getting harder I to find. Found diversions. Or perversions. I developed a kind of passion for hunting. And fudge stripes. Oh, that's it. The no, no, no. You're quite wrong. Hmm? You see, this hmm? island was once the stronghold of some renegades from the mainland. Hmm. There may be one or two of them still lurking in the jungle. The staff must have been their handiwork. But all these different animals, they can't be native to this island. They weren't. You idiot. But you must know what money can accomplish. It's quite simple to import any kind of wild beast from anywhere in the world. Mad production of blight spirit. As other men hmm. collect fame and riches. I collect... Beer cans. Trophies. Thank you. Oscar, get out of my way. Oh, Oscar, Oscar, uh, Oscar. I, I thought you had visitors. I, Kitty. I get his strange voices. <laughs> There's a two drunk minimum in this film. Yes, Dean. These young people have stumbled onto my retreat. All eight of them? I see that you're not <laughs> uh, feeling well drunk. again this yeah. season. That's right. Maybe. Hey, uh, pause off, pal. I shouldn't bother with introductions now. Yes. I'll, uh, I'll go back to my room. I think that'll be best. You can meet our young friends later. They threw up on your water buffalo. I hope that's okay. That's right. Because you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Meet our young friends later. Yes. Later. I'm retired. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it's He's really too duck. bad. Dean was once a very brilliant man, but I keep him here with me because I feel sorry for him. And he's an excellent chess player. And he looks terrific in a gingham skirt. His company when he's sober and you get a chance to know him. Well, I'm sure that's right, sir, but uh, I don't think we'll get the chance. We have to leave now. You see, our boat's anchored off the island. I'm afraid that's quite out of the question. Hmm? You'd never make it through this animal-infested jungle tonight. But our boat, you see, the man who owns it doesn't know we went ashore. He's sure to wake up. You can put your minds at rest. I have a very competent staff. They'll take care of everything. We'll leave a light on. Will you excuse me a moment? 
I'll be right back. I need to check my script. Good God, look at those people. Hmm. Hey, everybody, guess who's in my living room? Robert Reed. Johnny? Johnny, what are we going to do? This place gives me the creeps. Oh, I don't know. I, I kind of like to see what gives. Uh, sure, what do you think's going to happen when Tony wakes up and finds us hmm. gone? He'll head straight back to port. Maybe remember to report us missing. Well, that will be stuck here for days. Don't worry about that. Tony won't be going anywhere without us. What do you mean? I don't know what I mean. I mean, I made sure of that before we left the boat by taking the rotor. Hmm? He won't be able to start the engines without it. Oh, Pete, you're wonderful. Well, that takes care of the boat. But... Hold it. Hmm. He's coming back. I just changed out of my smoking jacket. Don't even think it. Got a whole lot of face going on. Oh. May I present my wife? Sure. Sandra, Betty, Bear, Jeannie, Johnny, <laughs> and Pete. I was sure that you would want to make them welcome to our island. Welcome to Death Island. Naturally. I am glad to see you. Did you bring Paxel? Will you be staying for a while? Yeah. Well, you see, Mrs. Bellow. Yes, they will, my dear. I think I've convinced them of the foolishness of trying to leave tonight. But we don't want to impose. It's our pleasure. We'll make a meatloaf of some sort. Isn't it, Sandra? Of course. He's working the job. Now, if you'll show the girls to the guest room. And the guests to the girls' room? Yes. Uh, will you come with me, please? And see what the boys in the back room will have. It's Eva Braun's bed and breakfast. Ooh. Say, where'd you get the braids? I've made arrangements for you to spend a comfortable night. On me. We can discuss your leaving in the morning. Mr. Carlin. Hey, Hartley. Sorry, I'm late. The idiots. Lord prepared a room for you. He will take you to it. Well, I don't think we Good are. Good night. Don't let the bed of bugs no bite. Worry. Everything will be taken care of. <laughs> oh, and um, he has a tendency to fondle, so please be careful. You want turned on service? As for the rest of you. Oh? Well, now for some microwave french fries. Well, now, how about me? Do I care for a drink? Well, I oughtn't, but, well, I'll have what I'm having. God, I love liquor. I should gain weight so I can handle more of this stuff. White shoulders! <laughs> Later that same drink. Wow, this stuff really works. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, there's some gin on the corner of your mouth. Mm. Oh, I got it. Mm. Your lips are like crisp, delicious bacon. Dean, we have to be careful. He could walk in any minute. And his spies are all over the house. I know. The lion may be watching. I can't think much more of this madness, Sandra. I can't go on forever pretending to be a useless drunk. Run for a while, but my liver keeps shutting down. I was got to try to escape from got to try again. But how, Dean, how? How, Dee, how? He can never allow anyone to leave this place alive. And he has made sure no one ever will. I know. She's got more face than she needs. And now with these kids here, I think we've got a chance. What do you mean? I've worked it all out of my mind. <laughs> you don't see my Ada? Whoa. I was just talking to Mrs. Nipple. I mean, I... I oh, Sandra. Entertaining our guest? That's a trick question, isn't it? He looks like an Easter Island statue. Mm. You've recovered from your indisposition, I see. I'm glad. Um, thank you. I was just about to take a turn around the ground. Wouldn't you two like to join me? You go out so seldom. We got, got this thing. We should I, probably yeah, I'm tired, that. Alex. Really. I was about to go to my room. My face needs a rest. Mm -hmm. No. No, thank you. I was about to go to her room, too. I, uh, I, uh, well, I think I'll turn in, too. Into what? Then you won't mind escorting Sandra to her room. With oh, ick. Well, all Plus right. Me. Allow me to accompany you to my pants. I, I've been ro uh, I uh, Good night. Oh, uh, how banal. Dean. I wasn't looking at her butt. I worked out a very satisfactory design for living here. Hmm? I think you realize that. I hope you also realize that the presence of those four young people here changes nothing as far as we're concerned. 
And I'm still Victor Buono. I've taken care of everything. I don't think he suspects a thing. You don't think we're dreaming, do you, Betty? It's Robin Laura's bedroom. No, this is no dream. <laughs> I can't think of a better explanation either. Hmm? <gasps> it's the boys from the camp across the lake. Oh, this knob. I love to touch this knob. Come in. Are you all right? So far, we are, but I just can't understand what's happening to us. Uh, neither can I. That big guy that took us to our room up the hall wasn't very friendly. Well, I've got a feeling this isn't as friendly a place as that Mr. Below tries to make out. Shut I up. I still can't figure out how it got here on the island in the first oh. place. Well, I figured yeah, I that this house was first built by one of those, you know, crackpot millionaires about a hundred years ago. <laughs> and when Below yeah. found out about it, he sort of moved in. You know, that, that could be it. He said he had a lot of money. But why? Oh, I still don't know what's going on here. Neither do we. Well, it's a sense nobody's going to tell us. So we'll just have to find out for ourselves. Yeah, but how? Let's split up and have a look around. Yeah, but how? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Well, there's nothing to be scared about. I mean, I'll be with you. My point exactly. Sorry. Betty, you'll be with me. Now listen, don't get into anything you can't handle. If you find out anything, head straight back here and we'll do the same. Okay? Yep. See you at the office on Monday then. Oh. Okay, kids, let's go sell that band candy. Blink, 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 blink. Uh, is it time to report back yet? Blink, blink, blink. Okay, this is where we split. Pete, you and Jeannie go that way. Okay. Robert Reed's part makes it look like he has a lid on his head. I think she's shorter than she was a minute ago. Oh, do you have a few minutes to take a survey? I promised to release you, but only guess swear not to cry out. And quit licking my hand. All right. Go back to your room. We'll go with you. We've got to talk to you. What's this all about? Please go back to your room. We cannot talk here. Please. There is death all around us. You could crack a window. Okay, Betty, come on. Hurry. Well, they progressed a full ten feet before being captured. Oh, careful, there's death all around us in here, too. No, we don't have money for other sets. Well, there's something I want to tell you. Radishes make me burp. Unless you do exactly as I say, you'll never get off this island. There, I've said my piece. It's like Liberace's in there. Indiana Nerd and the Temple of Dork. Um, am I waiting okay, or should I... I can wait. How's this? I'm waiting. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. There's a whole other room in there. There's a stairway there that leads down into some kind of a tunnel. No. Sue? Come on, let's see where it goes. Please listen to him. All right, we I'm listening. To you and ourselves. I don't understand any of it. Well, I'll try and explain it as quickly as I can. What happened was just this. The wind began to twitch, and then... friends from the other room in here. But they're not there. What? Hmm? Well, they're out in the house somewhere. They're trying to find out what's going on, just don't. as we were when you stopped us. That's bad. Well, I'll go look for no, it. No, 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 stay here. One of the stupidest hostages okay, we've ever had here. Let's just pray that they'll be all right. Well, this is where they kneel down with Kissinger. <gasps> what do you know, a microbrewery? Of course, I can't drink. An entire cave made out of garbage bags. Are we over-investigating? We need to ask ourselves that. We should probably hide under the bed instead. You're constantly clammy, Steve. Cadavers for Algernon. She's finally the size five she's always wanted to be. Ow, ow, ow Susan, you're squeezing my booster shot. Come on, it's just a JC's haunted house. The wall is covered with Issei Miyake clothing. Steve Allen, P.I. Throw Gatorade at him. Okay, Mr. Villachez, come along. We'll get you back to your room here. What 
wonder what he scores on the Myers Briggs inventory. Okay, I've decided that phase B of our plan involves a lot of hiding. <laughs> Hi. Love this job. I can dress how I want. When did I have teenagers installed? Oh, man. If you had caught them, it would have been really awkward because they haven't been introduced yet. Yeah. This would be really suspenseful, but for the fact that it isn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, they've stumbled onto another room. Well, there's that air hockey game we gave him that he never uses, the rowing machine. Oh, it's their cotton candy lab. Are we having the clam bake or not? Quick, into the vat. Oh, oh he's changing the kitty litter. Ah. Mmm, nice back porch. Oh, crap. Ample. Hi again. Employees must wash hands before leaving dungeon. Clawson, kosher ladies. Never cooked. Always crisp. Yeah, I gotta limit myself to about three seconds of looking at that. Hmm. Well, time to rinse out my silk things. Man, if it weren't for my hobbies, I'd go nuts. He's gonna make some of his famous toe jam. Oh, <laughs> ah, she's so wrong. Sorry. Oh, it shrunk. Went a little too far with the dermabrasion. I usually don't look good in flesh tones, but... <laughs> it's funny. Jackie Mason? What are you doing with my head? This head should not be here, it should be on Broadway. This is one of Jeff Smith's weirder shows. <laughs> it's fun to watch a craftsman at work. Mm -hmm. There we go, just a little more. But there, one of my best ones, if I do say so myself. Now be sure to save the giblets for the cat. Now the Basques are one of the finest people and you should, they do wonderful things with organ meat. Oh, this is too fattening. I'll get rid of it so I won't be tempted. Now to go crunch some numbers. <laughs> Long before Peter Billingsley, there was this guy. <laughs> we are not staying for dinner. Would you, can I, can can I, 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 I can't come here, you. I can't believe it. It's just too awful. Poor Lonnie. Every word is true. I swear it. You have to believe us. Tidy bow really works. Not a word about this. Hmm? Somebody give me a hand. Bad Go news. On. The kitchen's not up to code. Jeannie. You'll never believe what we saw. Boiled heads? I don't believe it myself. We just heard about it. I guess it's true then. They told you about an unbelievable nightmare. It's it's true, all right. Well, that <laughs> settles it. We've got to try and get out of here tonight. Tonight. Let's just see how the skin turns out. Sandra and I have been saying that to each other every night for the last year. <laughs> Haven't you ever tried? Never had the opportunity. Bella has always kept us pretty well covered. <laughs> what can we do? Well, I have a plan, but I think it'll give us all a good chance. We all dress like Shirley That's Valentine. Right? You and Betty stay here and watch after Jean to be sure she's all right. Johnny, I want you and Peter to meet me in... The trophy room in a little while. Hmm? Oh, it's all right. We have to run of the house. Only be careful what you say. Yeah, but what about Bellow? You don't have to worry about him for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's in the can. <laughs> he's out in the jungle again. <laughs> After another trophy. Yeehaw, Cambot! Now get in the line, get in the row, grab your partner, here we go! Swing her high and swing her low, don't step on that pretty little toe. Now promenade! Woohoo! Weehaw! Eating turkey, eating cornbread, cheese, skinny cheese, real well fed. Alaman left and Alaman right, Alaman left and Alaman right now, promenade! Woohoo! 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 
on the chain now for him to star and circulate to your left. Ladies, chain now, do si do uh, Alaman and kickball change. Um, uh, now promenade. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Ah, shake for breakfast, shake for lunch, a sensible meal that you can munch. Lowest prices all the time, refreshing splash of lemon lime. They close the mines, the factories do. Not just England, it's so cruel. We're pretty, pretty bacon. There's no future, no future. Ah, 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 anarchy, anarchy. Ah. Now promenade. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh, we got oh, money! Oh, oh, <laughs> 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 I'm done with that game. Go out every night? Yes. Every night that he can hunt. Oh, how can he afford it? What? I mean, who? Who? Out there in that jungle, there are already several men that he's driven insane. With his low prices. And now there's also probably the owner of your boat. Tony? Well, he must still be out in the boat. The engines won't work. No. Well, I'm sure that by now, Ballow's men have taken that boat to the other side of the island. Huh. To the hidden cove. Hidden cove? Well, where's that? I don't know. It's hidden. Don't. That's where your only chance to escape lies. How do you mean? Pause. There's several boats moored offshore. Pause. Someone will have to swim out to one of them and... Pause. ...try to make it to the mainland to get help. Well, I, I'm not much of a swimmer, but I'll try. No, no. You ain't much of anything. I'll do that myself. And Sandra will come with me. Sandra? That's right. She's an excellent swimmer. And a damn good cop. And even if we don't make it... The secretary will disavow any knowledge of our actions. Drowning would be better than what Ballot had. In mind for both of us. It'll just be really bad. It's all that I'm saying. Well, where do we fit into all this? Where do we fit into all of this? Man, his shirt is so tight you can see his liver. Uh -huh. If the guards find us gone, divert yep. their attention until we get to the boat. <clears throat> and after that, <clears throat> after that, I'm afraid you have to look out for <clears throat> yourself until I can come back with help. Okay, fine. Can we end the scene, please? Coming? <clears throat> what? Right. Um, it doesn't sound very promising, but believe me, it's the only chance you've got. Uh, what is? Uh, well, I guess we'll have to take it. Then. <sighs> Good. Now listen to me. The first thing we do... Let's kill all the lawyers. ...over to the North Shore. Arr, I dreamed I went to Manderley. Arr, joy. <laughs> Dating at the College of St. Catherine. <laughs> so it's a President Bush. I tell you, honey, Barbara's got eyes like an eagle. Well, I just had a wry conversation, I'll tell you. Do they get away? Uh, so far, so good. I went as far as the front door with them, nobody saw them. Well, those guards must be getting careless. One of them walked right by Sandra's room without checking it. Oh. Hi, we're out of the sea, Bass. Just thought I'd tell you. My name's Whistling Pete, if you need anything. <laughs> Do you think he knows? I don't know. But Dean and Sandra have had time to get into the jungle. You think they'll bungle? Let's hope they make it to the cove. What? Oh, damn, no lifeguard on duty. Do you think we'll do something? Oh, wait a minute. I just want to make sure the direction. That guard won't be back right away. Yes, that's it. Indeed. Yes. I may never get a chance to see this again. Never wear a Speedo. I love you with all my heart. I hope we'll boil together. No, I wasn't finished. No. Darling, we won't fail. We can't fail. Oh, he's unhinging his jaw. Uh, I love the lamprey. Well, time for a little pole vaulting. <laughs> no, shouldn't have stopped back there. This is a much more dramatic shot. Hey, he's got an ugly stick. The new Banana Republic Mature Fit expands with you. When are we going to have that clam bake? Oh, that's cold. It looks like my grandma's house toward the end of her life. Can I splash some water in my pits? Did you find anything? No. I listened to two guards talking. One of them had been over to the cove, but he didn't mention anything about the boats. It's been two days. She grew! With no word. <laughs> what I can't understand is why we haven't heard from Bellow before now. You don't think... Yes, I do. I don't know what to think. Hold it. Somebody's coming. Here's your towels, Hartley. Uh, 
let's see which room had the Ramaki. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I knew there had to be one of those. Waka, waka, waka. What's going on in there, Johnny? You game to try and find out? You don't mean... Would you finish your sentences? Just roll our questions lie behind that wall. He shot the bear in mid-standing ovation. Mm. I shouldn't let Brian Epstein dress me. The lion's looking at me, Hartley. <laughs> well, you don't think that... You're not saying it's we'll not true that... out right now. This room could use more of a hunting motif. Mm. Gamey feel. Yeah. I want to go see the Hall of Record Muskies. Look at that up there. It's a coelacanth on the wall. Please uh, bear with me, folks. <laughs> hey, did you know in college I was an Ursa major? Did I'm kidding. <laughs> Welcome to my production of True. This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting you, but I'm glad to see you. Come in, come in, won't you? Don't step in the guano. I have something I'd like to show you. My mermaid outfit. <laughs> mammy, mammy, I'd walk a million miles. Welcome to my private trophy room. I had intended to show it to you in time, but why not now? During my Montclair moment. Now that one I like. That's Jacoby. Am I full? He had strangled seven women before he found his way to my island. We were roommates for a while. His uh, experience made him an adversary worthy of my skill. Mm -hmm. I mean, you hunted these people down, and then killed them and did that to them? And finished your degree? Exactly. I hunted them. Shall I tell you why? Oh, yeah, sure. I've been a scholar all my life. I've got a GED. I was curator of a large museum when the war began. The Roger Maris Museum. I who had never killed anything in my life. Oh, boy. Found myself assigned to duty as a sniper. Hunker down. A sharpshooter. Because of my steady hand and keen eyesight. Fifty monologues for male actors. It amuses me now that I found it distasteful. At first. Or is it distasteful that I found time it? Time went by. I adjusted to my new activity. Uh, sir? What had been an unpleasant duty became a pleasure. <laughs> then it developed into a passion, and then into a lust. And then back into a pleasure. A lust for blood. A lust that has grown with the years. And one that I spend my entire life trying to satisfy. Yeah, I like model building a whole lot, too. Don't be afraid. I've merely preserved my trophies as they were at the moment of my trial. I wonder if he's considered commemorative plates. Hey, that pose could have been a lot worse. I see that my latest trophy has really impressed you. I'm glad, because I think it's the best thing I've done so far. And so does Hilton Kramer. And because they tried to betray me, it gave me great satisfaction. Now, I think Salty Ron has pecan ice cream for us. Salty Ron. I must leave you now. Am I being fey enough? Since you had no difficulty finding your way here, I'm sure that when Miss Scott has regained her composure, you'll be able to see her to her room. Oh, yes. I have another cliché. There's one thing more I'd like to have you see before you go. It's called Captain EO. Exhibit under repair. You'll notice that this niche has room for three, or even four. If you squeeze him a little. Trophies. It's a little pricey, but I think it's worth it. Is this your drunk, Hartley? Yes. Tony. Tony, 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 Tony. I think it's only fair that he should be here at this time because he's going to take part in the game, too. No, no, please. Don't send me out there with them. Oh, well, I can't stay cool anymore. This is Tony going to be so fun. To me. I paid you well to provide me with subjects in the past. I warned you not to use your boat for other purposes. You went inner tubing, so didn't you? As to allow these young people to find their way here without my knowledge, I think it only right that you should share their fate. Do you mean... Stop it! That's exactly what I mean. Tony was my source of supply for subjects. 
In the past, they were always convicts, escaped from the penal island. <laughs> now it. I find him no longer dependable. You really think you can get away with this madness? Madness? <laughs> what I plan is the present evening's diversion. See, I know he was only kidding. Well, that's just a toy. Well, I couldn't kill anyone. You're forgetting about the boiled heads, aren't you? Is that elf on the wall in the back? <laughs> I hope so. Somebody took my bones. Uh, it amuses me and is also distasteful that you think that I would... Um... Did I hit him? Or... Uh... Huh. Well, that threw cold water and everything. I, I guess it could kill somebody. Yes, it can. Now go change your pants. Soon we'll try to prove it. Please, Mr. Bellows, don't do this awful thing. Oh, please. You have nothing to be alarmed about, young lady. You're in no danger, either of you. Your life here with me will be a pleasant one. You'll find me a most accommodating host. <laughs> Oh. Do you think Jeannie and I'll have anything to do with you if you send Pete and Johnny out and kill them in that jungle? Yes, I think so. I know so. No one has ever left this island, dead or alive. Ooh. And since the unfortunate incident involving my wife has left me without feminine company... Except for Minnie Pearl. ...to getting to know you both better. Much better. Well, he bounces back from okay, a bad relationship. You make sitting ducks out of Pete and me. You have to hurt the girls, too. Hurt them? He really means it. What are we going to do? Oh, how'd that get there? I the wrong person about your future activity. Go with Shondo. Shondo, lock them in their room and then come back at once. His real name's Clint, but Jondor has a certain ring. <laughs> it does. Well, he's kind of cute, I guess. I can change him. All right, Madman. Very <laughs> touching. But to return to your question, Pete. The mugwumps I'm were... exactly what to do up to a certain point. The rest, then, will be up to you. Are you listening to this, Tony? Yeah. It applies to you. Okay. <sighs> Moonlight's bright tonight, so you will make your way to the starting point of the chase. It's in the center of the jungle. Ivor will give you exact directions. Ivor? <laughs> the natives Ivor. used to call it the tree of death. I call it burning. I'll give you plenty of time to plan your flight before I follow with the crossbow. And uh, just three of these. Just three shots. That's all I allow myself. Or else I get silly. That's sporting, don't you think? Ah, eyeball. It's John Dorsey. You haven't sir. answered me. Don't you think it's very sporting of me to allow myself just one chance at each of you? Oh, sure. Real sporting. Frankly, I'm There's steamed. The Marcus of Queensbury. <laughs> In a jungle that you know like the palm of your hand. With that thing that could knock an elephant over? You're yeah. going to hunt us down. Of course, we have nothing to defend ourselves with. Not so fast. Not so fast. You haven't allowed me to finish the entire plan of the evening's entertainment. There will be a light Tony. deck lunch. Here, catch. Well, where do you drink out of this thing? Oh, Tony. It isn't loaded. Oh, neither am I. Oh, please, just Yeah, that's please. alone in here with an unloaded gun. It's time to start. The odds are not completely one-sided. Your youth and numbers against my skill and experience. You'll find the ammunition in the branches of the tree of death. When that gun is loaded, my life will also be subject to how the hunt goes. Tonight on the Hollywood Palace. Oh, oh, real good plan. Let's go to the tree of death right away. <laughs> Maybe there's a map that tells us the way to the Tree of Death. Look for good that Mr. Owl! <laughs> tree of Novelty Items. Here it is, I found it. It's Meow Meow Kitty! Meow Meow Meow. Why, that rat. That lousy, stinking rat. Let's not call names. It'll escalate into bitterness. Well, he left only one shell. That's the way his twisted mind works. I don't like the villain. What do you mean? <laughs> don't you see? He allows himself three shots, one for each of us. And we get one shot at him. I'm just about fed up. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Come on, give me the gun and let's get moving. Oh, no, you don't, Buster. You just hand over that bullet. Uh, don't be a fool, Tony. I'm a better shot than you are. Yeah? Are you saying I'm a drunk? You ever shot a man? No, I slapped Andy Davis once. No. Well, I have. And I ain't taking any chances on no amateur. Whoops. 
Are you done? Well, which way should we go? I don't know which way you two guys are going. But <laughs> I'm going alone. So long, suckers. Hey. Well, no, that was really rude. Hey, come back here. Oh, I no, like him. It's better if we do split up. It doubles our chance. Oh. Well, Baloo can't hunt in two directions at once. Look, the way I figured, we must be right about in the middle of the island. We'll head that way. Try to get to the beach. And then work our way back to the house. Back to the house? Are you nuts? Well, I've got a slight dementia. Well, let's try to find the boat. Well, we've got to try and get the girls out first. Oh, but Below said he wouldn't touch... Don't mind what he said. I know what he meant. Filthy, unchristian I sex. You look at this, kept looking at the girls. Come on, let's get started. I, I just don't see how you figured... Never mind. We've got to do what we can. And that's the first thing. They found the tree of interminable dialogue. <laughs> well, here's hoping we find the second thing. Whatever that'll be. I heard that. I'm almost ready, Mad Doctor, dear. Just freshening up. The guard's still out there. And wide awake. And cute. Then what are we going to do? Even if we do get out of this room, where are we going to go? I don't know. We could have a slumber party. Maybe we could find the boys and try to get to the boat. We don't even know where it is. Oh, it's just no use. Where is love? Am I thinking what I'm thinking? Use your weighty hulk. Oh, even this window's locked. Oh, even the spittoon is locked. I could make play suits for the children. Come here, Jeannie. Come on, move that, move that, move that! Listen to me. I've got an idea. Okay, Don't ask any questions. Just do exactly as I say. All right. What do you want me to do? Here. Oh. I'm Blind Tom, yar. Just set that anywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm terribly sorry. Not the Ming spittoon. I was moving it and and it just broke. I, I'm sure I can fix it if, if you get me some glue. Ooh, this is their cutest plan yet. I didn't mean to break it. It, it broke. It was such a pretty vase. <laughs> Damn you all to hell! <laughs> New stuff killed. Jeannie, come on, hurry. But we need to fix the vase. Come on, I'll help you climb out. Out there? But we'll be killed. No, we won't. There's a ledge out there. We can work along that till we come to an open window. <sighs> but what if there's something? Never mind, it's the only way. Come on, hurry up. Be careful, too. Now, fly, monkeys, fly. <laughs> Action foliage. Gondor, heal. Well, I got a head boiling. I should be getting back. You know, chopping your own Christmas tree is harder than you'd think. When did he get new? Hmm? God, I admire his jacket. The Brian Ben Ben. Man, is he Flemish? I love you this much. <laughs> so, Tony. We come to the end of the trail. The soul trail. No, no, it's broken, honey. I'm disappointed in you, Tony. You've known me long enough to realize that I wouldn't give you a gun without first taking the precaution of removing the firing pin. And the distributor cap. You find that hard to believe? Well, you see, Tony, if I hadn't given you the gun, you would never have given me the pleasure of seeing your face at the moment of the kill. Oh, wait, it's not a pleasure. Oh, no, please. Please, don't do it, please. I'll never give your secret away. I promise. I'll get you more convicts. I'll be your best friend. I'll never make a mistake again. Please. i got candy bars in my room. All right, Tony. I'll reconsider. Then I already have a best friend. Bye. Oh, thank you. Can I borrow a shirt, by the way? Oh, you won't be sorry. Enough of this. I have work to do. Sir. You get back to the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. I'll make you so proud of me. <laughs> Tony. I lied. I have reconsidered. John Steinbeck in of mice and murder. <laughs> real, real against the dying of the... <clears throat> well, that was a good one. Sure, I heard a scream. 
Well, that figures. Boy, am I cheap. I can't tell. I think it might just have been a jungle bird. No, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was Tony. That means we're next. Oh, come on, Johnny. Let's try and find that boat. It's our only chance. Now, we're not going to do anything until we get the girls free. Now, come on. The war's this we'll way. way to the beach. What do you do? No, I don't want your filth. Hurry, back to the Tree of Death. We'll pick up the other trail there. <laughs> it would be ironic if the Tree of Death ever got Dutch Elm disease. Yeah, <laughs> Stump of Death wouldn't be the same. No. Aha, uh -huh. we're back to our room, see? Oh. oh, it's like Cagney and Lacey, the attractive years. Snoop Sisters, the early days. Where angels go, trouble follows. Well, we made it this far. Yeah, but where is this far? I don't know, but it's closer to far away than back in that room. You're deep. Come on. Let's do the whole thing over again. It was fun. I just want to see the boiled heads. It'd be too bad to come all the way to this island and not see the boiled heads. Betty, my pants have reached a crisis point. Come on, we have to find the secret to Bach beer. Oh, no. The door to that terrible workroom I told you about. Oh. Mind Papa. Wait a minute. Maybe we can find a knife or something in there. Then we can bone some ham. Come on. Oh, I'll go first. Well, you've met the heads. You know, they could wear the heads and then escape over as someone here. else. You've got to believe me, there were heads all uh. over the place. Hey, Booyah's done. Mm. we got to get a couple of these that we can carry easily. Oh, it's no use, Betty. Even if we did, I couldn't use one anyway. Jean, listen to me. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition amongst our weaponry. Good evening, ladies. I'm Peg Leg Dick. <laughs> Keep away from us. So you want hush puppies or rice pilaf with your lobster? I'll you, I'll use it. Jeannie, run for the door. He can only get one of us. Mr. Ballou told me to take good care of you ladies. Don't hmm? come any closer. Can't you see I'm harmless? Isn't everyone here phony? I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> uh, this doesn't involve you, Betty. <laughs> Can't you see? Can't you see? Bob Packwood goes a courting. So you maybe want to go out and have coffee sometime or go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, half off the soup today. Ricky. Easy looks younger already. Hmm. Wait, I still haven't seen the heads. That was fun. Who's next? Pa. Oh. I think I remember one of the girls saying that if we were ever captured by an evil hunter, to go ahead without him, okay? What's the use? It's only a matter of time before Below catches up with us. <laughs> no, I don't think we are lost. The jungle's thinning out. We must be getting closer to the beach. I think that still qualifies as lost. So what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to put you down, Johnny, but even if, but you if we do find the beach, then what are we going to do? Hey, uh, John Dor, has my latest Ted Nugent bow hunting magazine come yet? Well, come on. we got to make time. Be gentle. Uh, oh. I guess he's in a scene with Robert Reed and he's the weenie. Well, someone's got allergies. Don't like a sound. <laughs> Look, John the Baptist. I think it's Charlie Callis. Could I just get some service? Get out! Hi, can I help you? Oh, I mean, uh, ah! it's quicksand. Struggle. Keep quiet. Come on, play Old Testament prophet with me. Later, later. No, my muffins. Something scared me. We gotta get out of here too. 
Next year, let's just go to Branson, Missouri. Okay, see ya. Here, I want you to have this shirt. Hey, missing one of my leeches. You take some off too. I'll meet you halfway. Right, they invented champagne. I think we found the weak link in the security system. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. He's the cute one. Hello. Welcome to tonight's mystery murder dinner party. I did it. Crow! Oh, 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 ruined oh, everything. Oh, I did it. Oh, oh, Current thing worked soon. up and then... Right? Ah, God. Uh, God. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Hey, is this whole pie for me? Uh, Oops. Oh, yeah, it turns out Rosebud was a sled. Oh, no, uh, yeah, and then Crying Game? Well, I check had a play. Hey, 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 that's... Come on, please, you think you can make it? I got a choice. Boy, I feel really good. I think I needed that bloodletting. Sure you don't want to check my butt for leeches? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm going to get a rash from my wet pants. Ah, take that. Chivalry in case a woman comes by. The Defiant Debs. Oh, you're hurt. No, it's my dignity. Oh, and my ankle shattered. Now what? Oh, we're out of that awful house. Now we'll have to try to find the boy. I just hope Below doesn't find the first. Well, this is the Osterman weekend. Oh, ah, you, oh, look at this. Oh, ah, the castle's this way. Come with me. Oh, Daddy keeps his pants. Twice tonight you've given our position away, and now you can't even find the trail. Well, boss, you see, I got this pinch sciatic nerve in it. Oh, cold. Oh, cold. I'm grateful that your own stupidity will save me the trouble of getting rid of you. If, if I could just voice an objection. Oh, <laughs> Too bad the leeches will do their work so well. <laughs> you might have made an interesting specimen for my museum. Ah, that's my ride. Oh, I'm sorry, Tendor. Oh, you are not. I won't be able to stay to enjoy your last moments, but I am urgently required elsewhere. But where are the blank checks, by the way? Well, I'll find them. Visit the La Brea Tower Okay. Sorry. I guess so. We better keep moving, then. We'll never find the boys just sitting here. May I say it just once more, please? What? Member. I'm scared. Well, if it makes you feel any better, so am I. But we've got to go on. Just tuck the bone back under the skin. Let's go. Seems like you need a pants horn to get into those things. <laughs> guy uh, 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 let me baptize you just once uh, 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 how about next Wednesday then uh, uh. this guy always sits next to me on the bus <laughs> it amuses me that someone is chewing the scenery <laughs> Your island is really very not... Oh, he calls the weak from the herd. Robert Reed is Buford T. Pusser. In Prancing Tall. <laughs> you all right? Have we had the clam bake yet? Come on. Let's get out of here fast. I wish they'd invent computers so I'd have somewhere to belong. Well, this movie's back on track. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh. Uh, go back at it. I think it's the others who are crazy. Uh, I blew it. Uh, I should have said you, uh, uh, you instead of uh. So it's you. Uh, You're looking uh, well. 
I had thought to permit you to enjoy the hospitality of my island while I took care of more pressing business. Can I get a oh, grunt in here, Edgewise? Sir! <laughs> I'd rather die than have to listen to that guy talk. It kind of hurts. Ah, so it's you. Reduce, recycle, reuse. You know, older men always carry handkerchiefs. And this is why. I'm kind of anal about this stuff. Okay, call me if there's any pain or discomfort. I've been good talking to you. So long. You know, he may be in danger of over-harvesting the game on this island. I think they're letting us in on details we really don't need to know. Yeah. The Kraut is a lonely hunter. Oh, I should just put in some strip malls and be done with it. Really not a lot to do on this island. like a really uncomfortable crotch. Ooh. I don't know how long we can hold on to this kind of luck. If Bellow doesn't get us, the strain will. We're going to have to try a real grandstand play. sound they made, I'd say the whole bunch is out looking for us. Good. At least they'll be out of the house. Pete, drop down and see if you can see any signs of Well, why don't you drop down and kiss my pink behind you? Be careful. I want you to be alive when I break up with you. Me, Adam. Damn the torpedoes, please. Mm, okay, dropping down. Oh, oh, that could hurt my thing. I just need to drop and then this one. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Yeah, he's a regular Sacagawea. I, I jumped down and scouted the place out like you said. I did. Look, we haven't got a chance without a gun. We've got to get back into the trophy room. We can't. We just got out of there. Well, that's just why we can take a chance on going back there. Bellow's guards will still be out looking for you girls. Now, if we can shake Bellow and get back there before the guards do, we can get the guns and maybe have a chance to stay alive long enough to find the boat. Come on. You see me scouting, honey? I scouted. I haven't seen a co-worker for weeks. Oh, well. I will not let down my vigil. One guy that's not out combing the bushes for us. Sure. Should we jump him, Johnny? No, I don't think so. I think our best chance is to try and sneak past him. I got one job, but I does it well. And I hate Robert Reed. Hey, mister, can we go in now? <laughs> Maybe I can kill a bush. It wouldn't be the same. I suppose I should have kept my townhouse in Manhattan. Well. Ah, time for my story. Wonder if there's any of that German potato salad left in the fridge. It's just as I remember it. Are you guys ready for this? Remote control everything. Hmm. Hmm. It's locked. You surprised? Oh, very funny. Just stand there. Try and find something to open it with. This would be the kind of blood hunt I get in on. Well, after we get it, what are we going to do? We're going to try and get out of here and find the boat. Oh, thank goodness. I don't want to stay in here any longer than we have to. Yeah, yeah. That ought to do the trick. Well, that was almost as hard as the time that I went scouting. Shut up. All the way out there, and my laxative kicks in. Oh, quiet, sir. Nick broke. Huh, you get what you pay for, I guess. Oh, wait, I think I have a neck in here somewhere. Oh, yes. Had a great job as an actuary downtown, but no, gotta come out and buy an island. Look at this, Lucas McCain's armoire. Ah, I'm the NRA. There's no ammo here. Well, there's gotta be. 
These guns are useless to us without it. No, I know. Somebody's coming. Let's get out of here. Scooby-Doo, the motion picture. Ah, I can't stop laughing. Ah. <laughs> you should be thankful for his smoking jacket or else he'd be walking around in his underwear. Ooh. I think I'll settle in with some Irma Bombay. Maybe a little schnitzelbank for dinner? Nope, I didn't kill the cook. This guy looks like a sockeye salmon about to spawn. <laughs> Ugh, those darn Menendez boys. Oh, good, my lingerie is still here. You feel so violated. Manos. <laughs> I wish the bear would put on some pants. No cookies, not now, not ever, never. You know, I could sublet this. Uh, maybe I do have room for a pool table. But a cave is not a home. Uh, this is the biggest bathroom I've ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, Spalding Gray. Well, then, I'm flattered that someone should want a further look at my little souvenir. <laughs> no one else has ever come back a second time. Maybe I'm overcharged. Lie. Hello? <laughs> it's rather dark in here. Perhaps we should have a little more light. Clap on. Mammy, sir. Well, let's try elsewhere. Oh, he's regained his sang froid. Or oh, there. Does he no? ever take him out and play with him? Mm. Well, well. Just switch him on all at once, you show off. Oh, there, either. Yes, I call that one Lutheran love. There's plenty of time. I've got fudge. Strange about these old walls. Yeah, what's that? The smallest sound is amplified. Oh. If one sits quite still, one can hear the slightest murmur. Murmur. Sometimes murmur. even the slightest breath. <laughs> See, I'm suggesting that there may be someone in here. There's a certain closeness about this place. I've never corrected it. It helps preserve my trophies. Yeah, maybe when I retire. But at times, it does make breathing difficult. He does this twice a day, and once in a while, he actually finds somebody. I've sat here so long that I find I can sit for hours and not make a single sound. Why don't you demonstrate? <laughs> not a single sound. I got you, I got you, I got you! A single sound. Not a single sound. Single sound. Stay just where you are. You guys are pathetic. Look at you! That's far enough, fellow. Don't come any closer. <laughs> I think it was rather rude of you to force open my gun cabinet. Rather. But I'll overlook it, since you spared my ammunition chest. Beat, beat, poker face. Oh, yes. I know your guns are quite useless. No, no. Fix bayonets! I wouldn't try that if I were you. It would only hasten your death and that of all your friends. Okay, Bella. You win. Huh. I never doubted it. Did you? Well, why don't you get it over with? Not so fast, my young friend. I have an idea that appeals to me. Chickpeas. Let me group you in this setting, alive as you will be in death for all time. Well, okay. What do you mean? I'll show you, my dear. I've never had the pleasure of a trial arrangement of my trophy. You, Pete, over there. Link, Julie, over there. Move. Look over your shoulder and wet your lips. And you, my dear. I think you'd look most effective with your arms around Johnny's neck. Oh, wait a minute. You promised to let the girls live. That's right. I did promise. But since they obviously helped you kill the guard, I'm afraid I can no longer trust them. Guard? Oh, we didn't kill any guard. We didn't steal no back, uh, neither. Honest. The only guard we saw was at the gate, and we sneaked past him. Snuck. Quiet. Don't make a sound. Any of you. Not a sound. Should have had a tech rehearsal. I had it. Ah. You, over to my chair and throw the last switch. Move quickly, quickly. Finally, Pete's the AV geek he's always wanted <laughs> to be. Hurry, the last switch. 
Um, is that the red one, sir? There are two here. Uh, which one is the last one? Oh, David Letterman. Hey. You, you, you got any salt? I got a couple of hangers here. Shandor. No leeches in the house. Stop. I warn you. It's the blue switch. Here, let me get it for you. <laughs> Let's go hide in the head boiling room. <laughs> Uh, lackeys uh, turn on the masters, they become bulletproof. Okay. Hey, buddy, I love you. Come on. Ooh. Yo, that hurts. <laughs> so, why this symbolism? Did Christ hunt people on deserted islands? The Johnson Coat Rack Company issued a recall today. <laughs> Take it easy, Betty. It's all over and we'll be safe now. We're free to be rye. But we're not off this horrible island yet. Those others. Well, don't worry about them. Now that Below's dead, I don't think they'll give us any trouble. He's been so right about everything so far. I guess Below never thought he'd be the prize exhibit in his own museum. Guess yeah. not. You know, if earlier he had said, I'll never be impaled on my own rack, this would have been <laughs> ironic, but... <laughs> 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 Wow, you what? scared me! Oh, what the heck? Uh, look, as long as Nelson's on the loose, you and I are not safe. Now, keep low and stick with me. What? Tom, Mike's secretly been hunting us down. <sighs> Think about it. He's just like the guy in the movie. All alone, yeah. isolated, yeah. was a sniper during the war. Yeah. He was? Well, I'm pretty sure, yeah. <gasps> Crow, you don't think! Hi, guys. Do ah! 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 That was weird. Well, we got some letters here. You guys want to join in the letters? I guess not. This first one is from uh, Joanne Ross. I'll uh, put that on still story. You can see the nice stickers and stuff. Yeah. Joanne says, Dear Mike and the robots, hi, I love your show. You guys are the greatest. Thanks. Please do me a favor. If you get a chance, would you please tell my mom that Tom Servo isn't related to E.T.? Mom, Tom Servo, not related to E.T. There's no relationship whatsoever. This next one uh, is from Kevin Mullins, and it comes with a nice little picture. Put the uh, letter up there. It says, Dear Cambot Incorporated, I would like to see more Cambot on the show. That's nice. And if you say no, I will want to know why. Cambot, you've been warned. If Gypsy flies the ship, why doesn't she fly back to Earth? It's a good question. There's, there's no easy answers, Kevin. Put that little picture up. It's real sweet. You can see uh, there's Crow and there's Gypsy and Servo. And over here is Boyd Gaines from the old One Day at a Time show. So, uh, real nice letter. Thanks, Kevin. Two, and, uh, one, go! Ah! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? All right. Yes, 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 we yes. want to hear you promise you won't hunt us down and stuff us and hang us over the mantelpiece. Yeah. Well, guys, you, you know I can't promise that. Oh, 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 I'm just go, kidding. Go, 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 go. I was kidding, you guys. Oh, oh. I knew that. Uh, back down to you, Dr. Florentine. <laughs> Come on here, you little <laughs> rascal. Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. No, I was... <clears throat> Mother, dinner is ready. Mom, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Clay, nice spread. What's the occasion? Oh, don't be silly, Frank. This is just our typical evening meal. Uh, mother, uh, sit right. It looks great, kid. It really does. Don't get me wrong. But, well, Frank and I are going out tonight. That's right. It's Thursday Thursdays down at the Tijuana yeah. Taxi Company. Mm -hmm. Wahunga! <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'll just stay at the airport Ramada tonight. I've got an early flight, but yeah. I will see you at the hearing ah, next yeah. month. <laughs> well, uh, 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 oh, yes. Bye -bye. Uh, uh. <laughs> Give me that. Oh, <laughs> 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 